Hey guys, it's your girl Carmise. Welcome back to my channel. So I literally just accepted a stacked order at Bagel Boys and Panera Bread going for $13, 3.1 miles. I zoomed in to see exactly where the um, customers are located, if it's apartments, buildings, or whatever. And I went off of that. It is currently 1242 and my Panera Bread order is going to be ready within two minutes, y'all. So I'm about to head over to Panera Bread. I'm literally right there. I just need to park. My customer has two items, mac and cheese and new pepperoni flatbread pizza. So I'm about to head in there, you guys. I am one minute after my pickle time. All right, you guys, so their order was already ready. As you guys can see, they have a whole pizza and their food in here, the bread. They should have closed this up, but they didn't. <laughs> All right, you guys have their food right here i'm about to use the sticker thing on here oh stick to stuck to the box that's it all right and then i'm going to close this up because that's what they should have did like what the hell why am i doing this All right, so I have my customer's food. I'm about to put this into the DoorDash bag. The pizza fits like this. And I'm gonna have the bread like that. And I'm gonna have to hold it like this. My customer is one minute away. So literally, they are one minute away. How you want me to deliver it to your house, son, and you don't shovel your fucking driveway? I don't get it. I don't need, I don't need my car getting stuck. There's a whole road behind me. Like, cars are coming nonstop. So, when I passed it the first time, I couldn't even get out of the second house right next to me. I couldn't even get out, I couldn't even get out the house right next to me because of all the traffic going on right now. Like, <sighs> I'm going to hand the order to my customer, you guys. Okay, I don't see no doorbell. I'll just knock. All right, you guys, I just knocked on the door. I'm about to just place it right here. I'll knock again. All right, I'm out of here. I'm going to Bagel Boys now to pick up my second order. All right, you guys, just confirmed my order. I'm about to head over to Bagel Boys. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. It's like nonstop cars coming. I'm about to go pick up my order, you guys. I'm literally like eight minutes late. Miss Nana. Thank you. Bro, you should see the one that look at me. You should see the way they look at me when I go in there now. Like it's like they fucking hate me, like type shit. 
on that type of shit. Like, I don't like the vibe I get from them. All right, y'all, I'm about to head over to my second customer. My pickup time is at 105, which is in four minutes, and it's a handed to customer delivery. Ooh, child, and they're nine minutes away. I'm going to be there five minutes late. All right, you guys, I finally made it. I'm literally like seven minutes late. So this is a late delivery for real, for real. Um, all right, I'm about to just park right here on the side. Thank you. No problem. Have, Have a good, good day. one. Thank you. There she goes. She scared the hell out of me. Like I'm over here looking at my shoes because the lace was wrong done. And she's like right here. I'm like, oh shit. She like reached over the the bench thing. I didn't have to walk all the way to the front door, you know? She just reached over. I'm about to head back to the hot spots. I usually like drive back to McDonald's every time because around McDonald's is all the restaurants. So I just drive back there and I'm seven minutes away. So that's a seven minute drive back to the hot spot. All right, you guys, just pulling up to McDonald's. It took me like 10 minutes to get here while I was driving. The order popped up going for $8.25 at five miles. And it took me damn near 10 minutes just to get here. So I just made it, you guys. My customer wants five items, chocolate milk, chocolate milk, 10 piece McNuggets, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. My pickle time is in two minutes. So I'm about to head right on in there and see if my order is ready. all right you guys order already ready about to head over to my customer all right you guys my order was already ready when i got in there which is absolutely amazing I am one minute before my pick of time. Bro. <laughs> it took me damn near 10 minutes to get here. And my customer is fucking 13 minutes away. Like, are you kidding me right now? What happened to what happened to the total miles for going to the restaurant and the customer is the total miles? Clearly not because, clearly not because I am 13 minutes away from my customer and it took me 10 minutes to get here. So I'm thinking by the time I get here, I'm thinking I'm gonna be like five minutes away from my customer. You know, at least like five minutes, but fucking 13 minutes away from my customer. I wouldn't have accepted this shit then if I knew that. If I knew from the restaurant, from the restaurant to the customer, it's going to be five miles, I would not have accepted the order because I'm thinking me driving to McDonald's took me like nine minutes to get there, to get here. I'm thinking that's part of the five miles total.
All right, you guys, the customer grabbed their order. You guys can barely see me. What the hell? But yeah, you guys, the customer grabbed their order. There was no need of me to ring the bell simply because he was stiff. He was just standing outside. And then he went back inside when he saw me pull up. <laughs> He went back inside when he saw me pull up. So I just left it. So I just did it like contactless delivery, so. All right, you guys, I am back at McDonald's. I accepted an order going for $9, 3.6 miles. My customer wants 19 items, 10 ketchup packets, two creamy ranch sauce, sweet and sour dipping sauce, three packs of cookies, double cheeseburger, french fries, four peas, chicken McNugget, Happy Meal, Big Mac meal, and then another Big Mac meal. So I'm about to head inside, you guys. My pickup time is in four minutes. I have no idea if the food is ready or not. It probably isn't, but I'm going in there and making my presence known or whatever. And yeah. All right, you guys, I got my order right here. I'm about to head over to my customer. I'm surprised the order was already done with. Oh, all right, you guys, have both of my customers order right here. Drinks and food. The order was ready three minutes before the pickup time. This is a contactless delivery and my customer is eight minutes away. All right, you guys, I just made it. I'm gonna park right on the side because no space for my car over there. I'm just gonna park on the side and then place the items on the steps, take a picture. This is a contactless delivery. All right, you guys, I'm about to take a picture and then ring the bell. Wow, you guys, that's like the first McDonald's order that I got or someone gave me such a big tip. Like they gave me three, three dollars and fifty cent, three dollars and fifty cent more. Like that is so nice of them. The food is still sitting right out there, <laughs> but I did ring the bell and all that. So yeah, that was really nice of them. I'm about to go home real quick, you guys. Get something to eat. I'm so hungry. All right, you guys, it literally has been two hours since my last delivery, but I am here at It's Just Wings. I accepted an order going for $6, 3.2 miles, which was the biggest mistake I could ever make because that's like, if you're counting, if you're counting the miles, if you're counting like a dollar each mile, that'll be $3 um, driving for, which means I'm only earning $3 for this order, if you think about it that way. You know what I'm saying? So... If you're gonna sell an order for six dollars, it should be anywhere from a mile to like 
two miles you know what i'm saying but anyways you guys my customer only wants one item 22 boneless wings my pickup time is in three minutes so i'm about to head right on in to see if my order is ready Alright you guys, my order was already ready by the pickup time, so that is good. I'm about to go over to my customer to see if this is a contact or contact with delivery. Alright you guys, the, ba the bag is brown, I noticed, it's not white. <clears throat> All right, so I'm about to head over to my customer. This is a contactless delivery, and they are nine minutes away. So I'll see you guys once I get there. <laughs> nine minutes away, like that's crazy. Nine minutes away, so I'm like losing me. All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. I'm going to park on the side and avoid the driveway, okay? You guys are about to take a picture and then ring the bell. All right, you guys, it has been hectic the past like hour or so. I've been getting a whole bunch of trash orders. I'm going to place them right here for you guys. And yeah, but anyways, you guys, I'm here at iGrill. I accepted an order going for $8, 3.4 miles. My customer wants two items, salmon filet and dark meat chicken. And yeah, you guys, my pickle time is in four minutes, so I'm about to head inside right now to see if my order is ready. Guess who got added to my fucking blacklist? Alright. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna get a start or nothing, but they're gonna be added to my blacklist. That'll be my last time going to that fucking restaurant because every time I go there, I'm, the food is fucking late. Every fucking time I go there. How, how the hell do I go in there? He's telling me, oh, you're a little bit early. How the fuck am I a little bit early when I'm two minutes before my pickle time? The food should be fucking done by the pickle time. What kind of bullshit is that? I'm eight minutes after my pickle time. Damn near ten minutes after my pickle time. All right, y'all niggas won't be seeing me ever again in your fucking life. Damn! But anyways, you guys, I'm heading over to my customer. They are nine minutes away. This is a contactless delivery, and I'll be there eight minutes early, so. 
<sighs> Every time I go there, they waste my fucking time. That's only my fault for accepting it anyways. I already knew what the fuck was up to begin with. That's cool. That's my last fucking time going there. All right, you guys, I just made it to my customer's house. I'm about to place the items on the steps, take a picture, and then ring the bell. Contactless delivery.